Hey there, this is OneUp Indie here with another basics video tutorial about well, what you're seeing right in front of you. The Wheel of Fortune or basically just a rotation a wheel for spells or inventory or god knows what. You've seen that in let's say uh, Secret of Mana and I wanted to recreate that as quickly as possible. So if you want to join me on this small little journey then stick around this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing and hearing then why not consider sharing and liking to my small little potato channel here on youtube Alrighty, so let's uh start off with something a little bit more visual let's go into yeah so um first of all we need a few things which we want to pass in before we want to um well do the whole spinning stuff so first of all we need two things so first of all kind of an array which we are filling up with um, images so um i don't know how many images we're having let's say one two three and therefore um we need to also need to know let's say how big one slice of this pizza of this wheel of this thing of this pie whatever you want to call that is so this is how this variable here one piece and this is uh, which we're gonna pass in and all the other stuff this you can forget the length so this is from a starting point here uh, let's give it another one starting point here to here this is the length then the deer is basically the angle which we're having here for rotation ah oh, beautiful this is of course very unfortunate get away um so this deer is um well a rotation value an angle which all of the guys are well s has to stick to it's kind of important and then uh, rotation speed is kind of self-explanatory and then uh, later on we have kind of a state which is starting as idle and let's say we press left or right then we rotate from one position to the other one that's pretty much it and if you're just wondering wait a minute so why is dear starting as 90 well, good question, because let's say if you do it like this, this is the zero position, it looks kind of bad. We want to have it at the king position at the top. So this is what we want to have. So let's go into Game Maker and get rid of all that stuff here. And then first of all, we have, for example, our player. We just press the button. doesn't really matter what, what you do here. And then, for example, we're creating our wheel and then we pass in images. So first image, second and so on. And then we want to know how big one piece is. And one piece is, let's say, one part of 360. So, for example, if you just have one, well, it's 360. So therefore, we just um, take the array length. So of this guy here, because we have it with four values here, or let's say with three. It doesn't really matter. It's all the same will work out just fine with those three values and divide it then here by three so this is what that means we just take the array of the filled up stuff here so therefore we just go and uh, have filled it up once we spawn it with let's say three values and now we need to draw a few things so first of all just for understanding let's for example have a kind of a this to tier a selection and then we just draw it at the top point so for that we just have x x and y y these are just uh, y y y yeah <laughs> three y y y and just say like hey with the length here and then 90 which is our top position then for example once we started we will see our selection tool and this is yay working awesome and therefore we can actually use this logic and also well draw all the other things so here we do a similar thing like this just go and take one x and y off and um, we want to take one of those from the array which we created here and then i don't know set it to i because we'll do a sneaky little trick here not too sneaky to be honest but uh oh well let's make programming a little bit more interesting than uh, uh, it should be um yeah so for example once we for example do something like this we should be drawing on top 
Uh, crash? No, not crashing. Excellent. Our first sprite, so the bell here. Excellent. But of course, we want to have all of them, so we just say like repeat. Uh, here we go. And then, of course, uh, I plus plus. Basically, we're just iterating through all the positions but here. So, how many of them we want to have? Well, kind of easy. We just say like, hey, array length of our well array, which is filled up with now three or two. It doesn't really doesn't. Well, depends on how many positions you passed in. And then um, this is still not working because we need to get the correct um, calculated uh, D so the angle also the angle so how can we calculate it well we just call it D calc and say like hey our global rotation value D times E and then one piece so here for example we divide it by three so each piece is 120 so E is getting iterated, so each time it's getting bigger, bigger and then therefore, for example, once we start this thing here, let's see if it's crashing. No, it's not good. <laughs> we are drawing um, with one piece, next piece and the other one and then on the top. Excellent. So this is working pretty fine. So the next thing which we want to do is kind of have our mini state machine. And then, for example, once, for example, we are pressing left. We just set our state to rotate left or we're pressing right so here just this is how that looks like pressing left or right get rid of you it's not that important so let's say for example we just say like hey we are we toggle the state rotate left so what do we do first of all we want to um, well let our dear roll so we just want to increase this angle so plus equals no, not for left and then how fast well with our rotate speed and for now this would now turn for all eternity not the best thing so therefore we just have another variable i just call it rotate amount doesn't really matter it's kind of a timer or a, a value which is getting updated and then once it hits a threshold what kind of threshold well and hopefully you can also guess it well what kind of value could it be well the ones which we defined here a one piece so here if our rotate amount is bigger or equal than for example one piece then we can just say like sweet let it set up back to idle there we go and then of course reset this value also to zero so therefore we just have a rotation between one slot point or one piece or one sprite or one position to the other one then of course we can do the same stuff for rotate right and then we just update it here just take a plus and then we are pretty much done we are we did all this thing in a hopefully not too speedy way oh it's working it's not crashing it's good <laughs> I was expecting it to crash it did not so that was pretty much it so hopefully in uh, under 10 minutes yes hopefully that was not too fast for you guys uh code in the description box yeah i guess the code in the description box hopefully um that was of entertainment and you got your money worth here have a good one one up indie